just amazing, amazing desert riding. I'm on this ride for my second time. Couldn't wait to get back. The terrain is gorgeous. Wide open roads, you hardly see a car. Having a great time, beautiful views. A lot of great riders, a lot of good people. Great way to see the country. It is amazing. I biked in Israel before, but there was nothing like this. I see the road go by, it's just like riding in Texas, honestly, sometimes. Then all of a sudden it hits you that you're in Israel, and it's just cool, and I can't get enough of that. It has changed my life, and changed how I ride. I was looking for a different way to see the country, and this is it. I think that we have riders who come from very different backgrounds. We have riders who've spent a lot of time in this country and are very connected to Israel in traditional ways. People who haven't been here for a long time and people who've never been here. I think that for all three groups, they end up leaving the ride with actually a deeper sense of connection to the country. You know, never having been to Israel, I had no idea really what to expect in terms of what the country looked like, uh, what the biking would be like. The people that you meet are so interesting and just from different backgrounds, but what unites everyone is really the connection to Israel and also the passion for riding. And you get every kind of rider. It's not just advanced riders. There are lots of beginner riders that just want to explore Israel from the seat of a bike as opposed to a bus or the window of a moving car. I think this trip is awesome for two reasons, for athletics, the physical challenge, and I think it's also amazing that they've been able to highlight two nonprofit organizations really in detail and we really have gotten to know the organization really well. This is the first time I'm really seeing Israel and experiencing it. Being on the land in it, feeling it surrounding me, is pretty fantastic. You really are able to feel that desert breeze and just a really emotional, spiritual connection. The Viking is terrific, it's challenging, it's hot in the desert, but we're all having a great time here. The ride has been amazingly challenging in profiles, but there are options. You don't have to be a skilled cyclist to be here. You just have to want to see the country and bond with people that you never would expect to meet otherwise. It's an instant family of all levels, all ages, and it's very warm and friendly. Israel Ride, I love you. I've really gotten to know some of the landscapes of Israel and of the neighboring countries that I really didn't know much about until this trip. To see the country go by at 15, 20 miles an hour sometimes, sometimes slower, is very neat. It's not a race, it's a ride. We have people at all riding levels. We have ways to challenge people at all levels. And it's just an incredible way to see another side of Israel and to have a great, enjoyable vacation. One of the things that's really special about the ride is we raise money for scholarships for students in the Aravai Institute. Palestinian students, Jordanian students, Israeli students, and we have as crew for the ride alumni of the Institute so that the riders get a chance to get to know these alumni and hear their stories. It's more than just the support, which is wonderful, but the opportunity to meet and get to know someone who lives in the other narrative and for each of us to live in the narrative that we have and to still be friends. It's nice to see that Arabs and Jews could come together and be a family. It's all about moving together towards a common goal and everybody helps everyone, it's, it's wonderful. The crew's been great in terms of taking care of the bikes, getting them on and off and getting us moving, getting us going. And then as far as putting up these rest stops and taking care of us along the way, it's been phenomenal. Right when I need a break at the top of a hill, sure enough, there's a little oasis with some uh, salty nuts and uh, delicious dates. 
I especially like the beating drums when we get near the top of the mountain so we, we know we're almost done and don't give up. Just so energetic, so passionate, so enthusiastic about what they do. When you have a problem, you, you just call them, they come, they fix your flats really quickly. What I really appreciate most is not only are we riding throughout Israel, but we're learning about Israel. The learning part is very important because it integrates the uh, topography of Israel in conjunction with where we are historically. And kind of where we are right now, we can envision our ancestors being here, walking through the Sinai, walking through this area. It's really extremely connecting. One of the highlights is actually Shabbat because you're always ready for a nice rest after three days of hard riding and it really brings the true meaning to getting rest on Shabbat. I've never appreciated one like I have on the ride and it's been a very peaceful one. So it's about uh, 6 30 in the morning on the Sunday of the ride. It's the fourth day of riding. This morning a small group of riders have come down to the edge of the Machtesh and uh, have I think what is in my opinion one of the most uh, exceptional experiences of the ride. on the ride for a vacation. They come because they want to have a great time. They come because they want to be on their bikes outdoors and see the length and breadth of this country. And they do all of that and then some. And they leave fitter and stronger and happier and healthier. Doing the ride is a transformational experience. It's really hard to describe what it means to get on a bike under your own uh, power and ride all the ways from Jerusalem to Eilat. I recommend it to everybody. Sign up, sign up if you, if you love biking. If you're interested in Israel, if you're interested in the environment, if you want to experience a whole different culture, this is the way to do it. A lot of my friends are very excited and I'm hoping to have at least uh, four or five more people on the team next year. Absolutely, 100% register. I registered three weeks before the ride and raised the necessary funds I needed and it goes to an amazing cause, amazing people, a fantastically unique way to see the state of Israel. It's been a, a challenging couple of days but very exhilarating. I'm just so thrilled that I made it and met so many great people and this is really uh, such a nice way to spend a vacation and a really nice way to end the trip. So, L'chaim, cheers. L'chaim, cheers. We've made it safely. Cheers. Cheers. Feeling great. It was a great ride. And I trained hard, looking forward to it for a really long time and it exceeded, exceeded all my expectations. Great ride, great trip, great organization, great Sudaka to be involved with. It's a great experience. Nobody should ever hesitate to come on this trip. Just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. And bring your kids along. <laughs> yeah.